is that these things are designed to speak to the voids in your life and to make you speak or feel a certain way. It, 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 it um, fosters, I think that's the best word, it fosters a carnal mind. That's what it does. It keeps your mind in a place of carnality. And you can't do the things of God thinking like that. You gotta, you gotta make a decision. You gotta let it go, or you go ahead and get with it. But you can't do both because it's too much of a distraction. Mm -hmm. All right, I talk. All right, um, Colossians three and two. He said, "Set your affections." And yet, that, that's what I wanted. Um, the issue was setting your affections on things of above, things that are above. Uh, uh, so much of our affections are on earthly stuff, mm -hmm. and because of that, we are a unhappy people. Uh, our, our affections, our desires, our passions, the stuff that we value. We don't even have, we don't, we don't even have family values anymore. Mm -hmm. Things that we should have fought to keep, we've let them go. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't even have them anymore. We don't, we don't have family values and, 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 and things of that nature. We, we don't have them anymore. Our, our affections are all over the place. Stuff that's important, uh, uh, raising your children and, and being a good father, being a good mother, these type, these, these are not the goal. Getting married, these, these are not the goals anymore. We want to have babies, but we don't want to get married because our affections have changed. Our desires, our focuses, our what's important, these things have changed. They change, and so now we we we're, we're, we're um we're, we're chasing something that we would never catch, and that makes our lives a very unhappy, a better, a very bitter life, and it's hard to be uh, um, happy or be nice to other people when you yourself are not happy. It's hard for you to ask me to be nice to you or to treat you nice when I'm not even happy with myself. That's very hard for me to do. In order for me to celebrate you, I have to be able to celebrate me. And a lot of people don't want to, I had to learn that. I, I couldn't be nice to my wife because I was too unhappy. How can I, how can I, how can I, I'm, I'm not happy with me. I'm frustrated with me. I'm upset with me. I'm disappointed with me. And so now you want me, now you expect me to be happy with you and, and light up when you walk into the room. I don't even light up when I walk into the room. I'm, oh man, I'm, a, I'm, a, I, I'm not going to even have time to get into what I, that collage. But what I'm teaching you right now is, 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 is I'm talking about I had to, I had to learn this. I had to learn this. I had to learn that I can't be a good husband if I'm not happy with me. Amen. If I'm upset, if I'm depressed, if I'm bitter and whatnot, how in the world Am I going to sit here and smile and giggle and laugh with you? You asking me to give you something I don't even have to give you. So we both going to end up frustrated. We both going to end up upset because what you need, I don't even have for myself. I can't make myself smile. How in the world will make you smile? I was chasing something because my affections were set on earthly things. Mm -hmm. And so I was running out the stuff that could never make me happy. It could never fulfill the void. No matter how much I, no matter how much money you make, no matter how much promotion you get, it would never fill the void. You have to come to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have to receive the Lord. Allow him to fill the void. And once he fills the void, once he fills the cup, now you can move forward. Now we can be husband and wife. Now we can raise a family. Now we can do the things that need to be done. Because I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I'm not empty no more. Yes. I'm not empty. So some, some people are so, so they're, 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 they're just, they're just so, some people are just, they're just empty. They're just, and I'm not saying that to be, 
bitter because I'm, I'm just trying to get you to understand. Some people are just empty. They're not happy. They're not happy. And, and earthly things cannot give them that. The only thing that can fill that void is the Lord. Amen. And so until they come to the Lord, then they're forced to, to walk around with that hole. And the problem with the hole is that if you ain't careful, you'll get sucked up in it. Mm -hmm. You'll get sucked up in it. Yeah, it's the, that's exactly what it is. And no matter how much you pour into me, it's not enough. No matter how much you pour into me, no matter how much you smile and love on me and try to be nice to me, it's not enough. There has to be a well in me because you can't produce enough water to keep you and me hydrated. You ain't got enough. So there has to be enough, uh, there has to be a well in me. Yeah. Because you can't fill my cup and your cup. You ain't got enough water. And both of us going to be upset. Both of us going to be third. Both of us going to be struggling. Both of us going to be frustrated. And, 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 and a lot of, we don't see that sometimes because it's an issue of teaching. It's an issue of life experience. But that carnal mind, that's why the Bible says the carnal mind is dead. It's death. You can't make it with that mindset because it's of this world. And everything of this world is broken. It's fallen. It's no good. You have to switch mindset. You have to value things differently. You have to value things. You have to see things differently. You have to see family. F family. We don't even oh man. I think about the stuff that I did coming up and look at the stuff that I did with my kids and look at the stuff that the next, this new generation is doing their kids and we are steady losing. We're losing more and more valuable stuff. We don't even sit around the table anymore either. Mm -mm. Everybody got a TV in their room. Everybody come and get a play to get this and you go boom. You go to the dinner table, everybody got their cell phone. Now. You got your cell phone, I got my cell phone. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, there have been times where me and my wife was laying in the same bed and sent each other texts. because no matter what you do to satisfy, not you are happy. not going to be able to satisfy that mind. You can give it everything and it will still be unhappy. And the only thing that can fix that is switching minds and taking on a spiritual mindset and letting your affections be the things of God and not the things of this world. Because God says this. He says, let him who is thirsty, he said, come and drink. Come and get all that you want from me. All that you want from me, just come on and get it. The world don't say that to you. But God said, he says, hey, you thirsty? Come on over here. I got plenty, plenty for you to drink, plenty for you to have. Come on over here. But that is, you got to make that switch. You got to make that switch. I'm finished. We, we, 